So let's talk about March. <laughs> this month has honestly been super crazy, super hectic for me, but I still want to talk about the books and movies that I read this month and watched this month. I did read and watch a lot of things that I really enjoyed, even though this has been kind of a stressful month for everyone. So let's just get into the books and movies and TV shows from this month. And be warned, you might hear some jingling bells. Those are from my cat because she has a bell on her collar and so she jingles when she moves and she's annoying as hell. But I love her and she's my cat. Let's just kick it off with the books. And I have book talks for the three books that I read this month so I will link those up above. But the books that I read this month were the last three books in the Harry Potter series so that's Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I absolutely love Harry Potter. I read it when I was a kid and I've been rereading it recently and I've just been loving this reread. It's been so much fun and I love, love, love just spending time at Hogwarts. It's a nice escape. Reading right now is a great escape. So if you haven't read Harry Potter, read it because right now you're never going to have more time on your hands than when you're stuck at home. And so all three of those books I would give a 5 out of 5 star rating. They're all great books. Order of the Phoenix is definitely my favorite in the Harry Potter series. I know that it's not everyone's favorite but I love it because I feel like you get to see so many different sides of the different characters and there's so much development that happens. And overall in Harry Potter I just love the characters and I love their development and I love how they grow as characters and how you get to see them change and go through so much and you're just there with them and you understand their pain and it's great. So I love Harry Potter. I've been having a great time with that and seriously if you haven't read it you really need to because they are amazing books. So next let's just launch into the TV shows. So this month I watched three different TV shows and looking at them right now they're all documentary type TV shows and they're all on Netflix. Yeah this has been a month for documentary reality TV shows. So the first show is Love is Blind and in this show you have the two different sexes like the girls and the guys separated and they don't ever see each other but they get to talk and go on dates and stuff but they still don't get to see each other. Only until they are ready to engage are they able to actually see each other. So in this show there are multiple engagements, multiple weddings, it's super crazy and it was super fun to watch. Overall I would give it a four out of five rating wise there are some times where it's really boring and there are some super super cringy moments too because you do get to see these people being like super hammered and struggling with decisions that you wouldn't normally see in like other tv shows it's very different from things like the bachelor and the bachelorette because the discussions are different because in this show you actually see people move in together and the troubles that come with that and you know one of the people has a huge amount of student debt. That couple has to deal with the fact that one of the two is in a lot of student debt and the other one is actually pretty financially well off and what does that mean for their relationship? So it's super cool to kind of see those very realistic conversations happening, those very important conversations happening. It just has some cringy moments and it is a really great show and if you need something to kill the time it's a good one. It can really bring some some smiles because it's just it's got some good moments. The second show that I watched is called The Trials of Gabriel Hernandez and so I'm gonna preface this by saying that if you are someone who would be triggered by child abuse in any way this is not the show for you. It is a documentary about this child who was abused named Gabriel Hernandez and it is very emotional and gut-wrenching and again if child abuse will trigger you in any way do not watch it. Think that that will upset you do not watch it but it is very enlightening and honestly just terrible. Like the documentary is good. What happened is terrible and should not happen. And it's good to point out things that are broken in the system so that we can try to fix it. Overall, I would rate this documentary as a 4.5 out of 5. It really does make you feel emotional. And it really does help you to see issues in the social worker system and in the childcare system and things like that. The only problem that I have with it is that it doesn't really show you anything that you can do. So it's just, it, it makes you feel very helpless to this situation that is 
still a bad system that will still let people fall through the cracks like Gabriel Hernia does. Just personally for me, it left me feeling very emotionally drained. It doesn't feel like there's anything that I can do to help. But again, I have to say that trigger warning of if this sounds like something that you can't handle, do not watch it. And the last documentary I watched was Tiger King, which is the big one right now. I watched that actually like couple days ago but I give that one a 4.5 out of 5 stars as well. This one was super intriguing because it had so much going on. It felt like I was almost watching like a mafia movie but this was real life and so I thought it was super cool and super fun. I enjoyed it. So what this one is about is it is about big cat owners. So the people who own things like the tigers and lions in America and you learn some interesting fun facts about the fact that like in America right now we have more big cats so, like tigers, lions, stuff like that in captivity than are actually in the wild which is pretty crazy to think. And so it's kind of about that industry and the people who care for those cats and how kind of wild and crazy they are. I'm sure there are some normal ones out there, it's just the people shown in this documentary, it almost feels like a cult at some times. I recommend this documentary if you just want something fun to watch because it is pretty fun to watch. This one won't leave you feeling any feelings. Tiger King gets a 4.5 from me. The one thing that I had that was kind of an issue with it is that again it would get boring in times. It would get boring at times because it would get kind of repetitive which I mean is what it is but I, I get tired of it stuff that gets super repetitive. And then lastly, I watched two movies this month. So I watched The Danish Girl, which I would give a 4.5 out of 5 stars. This is about a man and this is back in like 1900 something or other. And this man comes to the realization that he does not really identify as a man. He does not feel comfortable as a man. And so he starts wearing wigs and he starts wearing dresses and dressing as a girl and acting as a female and you know he realizes that that is how he is more comfortable and so he realizes that he's really on the inside female and so it's about her coming to terms with who she is and who she identifies as. It's super interesting to watch. It is very dramatic and there are some different issues that arise. So like for instance, she is married when she realizes who she is. So she has to discuss with her wife about what it's gonna mean for her to be who she feels she is. So there's just a lot of stuff that comes up with that. She is also given the chance to have a sex change operation and so she's able to fully become who she feels she is. So it is just a very dramatic movie and so I would give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars just because it was really mostly dramatic. There wasn't a lot of other elements going into it so it didn't really shine that much as a 5 star movie but it was still a very good movie with very good character development, very strong characters and kind of a different perspective on things and seeing how in that time how difficult it would have been to have gone through that, how difficult it would have been to be one of the first people to ever have that operation done. Super good movie, I do recommend. That feels like something that you would like. Again, it is a drama so so if you're not someone who likes dramas then it's not really going to be for you but it is pretty good. And then the last movie I watched was Onward and I would give this a 5 out of 5 stars just because I really enjoyed it. I thought it was super cute and I loved the familial aspects of it. I thought the family was so strong and I loved that and I loved the characters in it and the character development in it and I just thought it was super super cute. So Onward takes place in a different world than ours where there are things like elves and dragons and stuff like that. And so you've got this elf family and so there's two brothers and a mom and their dad passed away. And so in this film, the two brothers get a wizard staff and are able to bring back their dad for a day. But something goes wrong when they cast the spell and so they only bring back half of him, the bottom half, his legs. And so they have to go on a quest to get the missing piece for their spell so that they can fully bring back their dad. And so it's very cute and it really reminded me of like playing D&D &D and going on a D&D &D quest 
and how there will just be random stuff thrown in and it just feels so fun and like such an adventure movie and that was just something that I really needed this month was just an adventure that would take me away from what life has become. So I do recommend Onward. You can buy it right now on Amazon Prime. I believe it's on Disney Plus. I'm not 100% sure of that but it is something that you can check out very easily right now and I do recommend it if you want something that's just gonna be fun and gonna take you away from reality for a minute. <laughs> okay and so that is everything that I read and watched in the month of March. Overall I did read a lot and watch a lot even though it was a pretty busy and hectic month for me. A lot of stuff has been happening this month as I'm sure it has for everyone else but I'm finally somewhere where I'm gonna just stay put for a little minute looking forward to the future and hoping that things will eventually get better. So I hope all of you stay safe and I wanted to thank you so much for watching. I will have a video up next week if you want to talk about any of the books, movies, or TV shows that I watched this month, feel free to comment down below. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe and ring that little notification bell so you can get notified when I post new videos. I will see you next week with another video. So bye. <laughs>